Hi, this is Jeff Gentry, BPA, Bloodstain Pattern Analyst. I'm looking at several impact spatter patterns that I've created on the wall. So an impact spatter pattern, remember, is force applied to an exposed blood source, and it sends out uh, blood spatter um, all over any nearby vertical surface. So up here up top, what I've found is I first identified this impact spatter pattern because it's a radiating distribution of circular and elliptical blood stains. So you can see that there's blood stains all out on the, uh, the outside of this pattern. And I've identified those with numbers and a little sticky tape. And they've come out from a point source. So what this tells me so far is that all of these blood stains came from somewhere in that middle area. These lines have identified, it's called the point of convergence. So it's a point in two dimensions. So if you're thinking about like a head or an object, so what we're gonna do now is calculate what point in space, so the distance away from the wall that this head was when that impact occurred. So that's gonna be called the area of origin. Today I made multiple different blood stains and patterns. I've got quite a few here that are done. And what I like to do when I'm done with them all is I put them on cardstock and I put a scale there as a reference. And then since I am using real blood, I like to laminate them and not waste my blood. Um, I drew this myself, so yeah, I feel like it'd be a waste if I made all these cool patterns and blood stains and didn't get to save them. So what I'm doing is laminating them. So I've got quite a few that I already finished. Um, got some trip stains, got impact spatter. I've got uh, blood into blood drip stains. Uh, this is just a random pat pattern that I made. Here's some flows, more drip stains. But this one is coming out pretty good. These are just multiple drip stains that I created at a height of several feet. But again, I felt like uh, I wanted to save them for when I'm teaching classes.